grow on Instagram and turn those followers into sales. In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact system that me and my clients use to book consistent sales calls through Instagram. This training is specifically designed for online coaches and online business owners who don't know how to structure their content strategy and brand in an always changing industry and who don't know how to attract new followers and actually turn them into sales. There's a lot of people now that say they can attract followers, but they don't know how to turn them into sales. So let's get into that. Here is a result. This is essentially the process. Getting consistent traffic to your page, getting inbound leads or reaching out to new followers who are nurtured, and then turning them into high quality clients. How am I helping coaches transform their personal brand and business with a simple three-step strategy? Like my client Tyree, who's using his personal brand and community to book out his calendar, consistently doing over 50K months. Or my client Dirk, who is using his community of loyal followers, who knows, likes, and trusts him to sign high ticket deals on a daily basis. Like I said above, I use a three-step strategy, which I like to call the follow conversion system. This involves getting widespread attention on your Instagram page, leading that attention and new followers down a funnel, and having a solid sales strategy in place to nurture the prospect and get them ready to buy even before they've had a sales call with you. Before we get into the in-depth details of how the follow conversion system works, we need to define a few things such as who you help and with what, optimizing your profile for success and the creator mindset for growth. Ask yourself these questions. Who do you help? What are their key struggles and pain points? How do you help people? What is your story? How did you go from where you were to where you are now? What are your goals with content? What subjects can you talk about for hours on end without getting bored? Who are your competitors in your niche and how do they structure their content? Is there anybody you follow religiously and love what they do online? What wins, losses have you experienced on your journey to where you are now? Once you get a good idea of these questions, you now know your story. You know now you now know who you're going after you know what you help them with so get a good idea of all those questions you can write these down on a google sheet and get a clear idea of what the answers are for you the next thing we need to optimize your profile so your profile your profile photo clear and professional does it show that you are a top performer in your niche your name don't overcomplicate it, but it can always be nice to have some keywords in your name stating what you do. Example, Mark, Mindset Coach. Now, anybody that types in Mindset Coach on Instagram, you will come up. So how do we structure your bio, which is an essential part because it's the first thing people are going to see when they click on your page. The first line of your bio should be your offer. I help target client do ideal outcome with a unique selling mechanism. I help busy moms lose 20 pounds with the decrease fat loss strategy. Your second line of your bio should be DM me whatever word to get started. Anybody that DMs you that word, you know they're interested in what you have to offer. Then the third line of your bio should be free training below. The reason we give away a free training is to simply nurture that viewer even more. So that's how your bio is structured. Then the next thing you need is the creator mindset for growth. It takes a certain mindset to be able to grow. So you need to believe that you are someone who is an authority and worth following. People can feel a lack of confidence on camera. You need to believe that you're worth following. So you got to speak with conviction. Never say things like, I think. It's always, I know, or this is how it works. You will get hate comments. It's part of the process, but 99% of the people who leave hate comments are keyboard warriors with no profile photo, no content, and they have no experience coaching themselves. You will only get hate from below. People who have more experience and are more successful will never hate. Then it takes time and discipline. Content is not a get rich quick concept nor is it a one to two week solution. It takes time, learning, and trial and error to get good. But it is an essential in today's day and age. And the only possible way that you can fail with content is if you give up. So let's get into the first stage of the follow conversion system, 
which is content and attention. So what should you be posting? All types of value driven content. Value comes in three forms, education, entertainment, and motivation. Let's use a fitness coach, for example, who targets women looking to lose weight. This person could educate their audience on how to lose weight and show that they know the solutions on how to lose weight. Share your own and your client's success stories on your weight loss journey to show previous results and show you've helped people like them in the past. Post motivational quotes about discipline and doing the hard things to motivate your audience to take action. Post about your day-to-day -day activities like workouts, diets, habits, so they get a chance to know who you are. It's not all just about tips and tricks. It's about them getting to know you. Post your honest opinions about popular topics in your industry. People will follow you not only just for your value, but they will also follow you for your beliefs on certain topics. If you have an unpopular opinion, don't be afraid to post it. Educate your audience on the specific problems they struggle with that you help them solve. Think of it like everyone who sees your content is going to join your program. You want to make it easy for them to get results, so educate them on everything they need to know before they join, so when they do join, they get 10x better results. Don't be afraid to give away your secrets. Giving away all your knowledge for free will not only make your audience trust you more, but they will think, wow, if they're giving all this for free, I wonder what their program is like. Now your content structure. There's many different ways to structure a video, but for this video, I'm just gonna give one which is consistently reliable. So hook, proof, solution, and call to action. For the hook, you want to call out your audience's struggles and show that you have the solution or else call out their end dream state of where they wanna go and what they desire. An example, summer is here and you still haven't lost any weight. This is how you're gonna lose an extra 10 pounds before summer is over. In that, I didn't call out the target viewer because that comes across as salesy. There's no need to call out your target viewer directly. That comes off as salesy, like I said. So some hook variables that you can mix and match the viewer before state, viewer end state, the time frame, the pain point, or the pain point subtraction. So, summer is here and you still haven't lost any weight. That's their pain point. They haven't lost any weight. They're, they're trying to lose weight. This is how you can lose an extra 10 pounds before summer is over. So we put in a time frame and we made it more personal to them, but we didn't call them out directly saying oh busy moms do this a bad example of a hook would be three tips to lose weight may have worked a year ago but now it's too basic and everybody's always doing it so after your hook you want to show some proof after the hook say something like and just to show you i know what i'm talking about here's some client results and show them some previous client results that relate to the goal they're trying to achieve Adding in client results and testimonials is essential if you want to make sales from content. It shows you've helped people like them in the past and it shows you can get them results. So after the hook, the proof, now comes the solution. Solve the viewer's problem that you stated in your hook and give away as much value and actionable steps that they can implement directly after seeing your video. Don't hold anything back. So now we have our hook, our proof, our solution, and our call to action next. Nobody is gonna buy your program or book a call after seeing one video of you. So you want to lead them to a place where they can see more of you and your results. You can do this by using the call to action, follow and check out my previous content. And if you're using this video structure in every piece of your content, they're gonna constantly see the value that you give and also your previous results. So this is gonna nurture them. Now, how often should you be posting this type of content? Every day. At least one reel or carousel post per day and at least two stories per day. In your stories, show your client wins and your day-to-day -day life. Now, shooting your video, you want go clear, good quality video and audio. Use the back camera, nice background. Sometimes give, sometimes people will forgive bad video, but they will never forgive bad audio. 
so you want to make sure that your audio is clear and good then in your editing the edit is not everything and you can have a video pop off without any edits but having good quality edits plus a good video will make the video do 10 times better i have a team of editors who does the editing for all my clients then your dream 20 follow 20 people you admire and interact like and comment with value on their posts daily this is going to get you and your page seen in front of more eyeballs step two of the follow conversion system would be funnel and nurturing viewers so after you're getting followers from your consistent content and quality advice you want to dm those new followers a lot of them will reach out to you but if they don't you want to start dming them so with dming your new followers you can say yo what's up can i ask you how you came across my content and by saying this they should hopefully tell you about their pain points oh well i saw your video about weight loss and it really resonated with me because that's one of my goals now you know they're trying to lose weight and then you could say oh cool cool so what's your goal by the end of the year and they will tell you your goal and then you can ask them why haven't they achieved their goal already and they will tell you why and then you can say something like i genuinely think i can help you out there do you mind if we uh do you mind if i drop my calendar link so we can talk and then they're going to book in a call with you and it's as simple as that but for this to work they need to be nurtured they need to know that you can help people they need to see your previous results so one other way that you can nurture people and get them ready to buy from you is by having a free offer so making out a free video training showing how you or your clients got a certain result with your unique system is an incredible way to build trust with your target viewer in this training literally give away every single secret and piece of value you possibly can to help your viewer understand exactly how you implement your knowledge into the client's lives show previous results video testimonials and your personal story in the intro to build even more trust with the viewer now they know that you've helped other people and they know your story of where you came from they got to know you you want to keep this video at least half an hour long up to an hour long and just provide every single piece of value that they need for the ending of this video redirect people to go to the description where your booking form will be linked and where people can book a call with you this video training should be so detailed and helpful that the viewer is ready to buy even before hopping on a call with you the next way you can nurture people is results and testimonials which is essential the more results and testimonial the more results and testimonials you post equals the more clients you will get it's as simple as that this is the best way to make people trust you and your service. Show people that you've helped people like them with all the struggles they have now. Pump these out as much as possible. Daily if possible. And in every single piece of content. Another way to follow viewers and get more attention and scale this system would be by running ads. So we don't want to create ads to get link in our bio clicks we create ads optimized for followers why nobody is going to buy from you after seeing one video we need to nurture them first so we nurture them on our page with existing content showing previous results and that's why we ask them to follow us if we optimize for followers it leads to not only growing our personal brand more but also you will have more leads to reach out to if you optimize for followers you're going to get a lot more followers than if you optimized for clicks not many people are going to click it so how do you optimize your ads for followers call out your ideal client on their problems talk about their ideal outcome show them you know how to solve it show previous results and use the call to action follow and check out my previous content then when you do get followers from your ads you come back up here um, and start dming all those new followers after that 
you're booking in calls on a consistent basis, you know what works in your content, your personal brand is growing, and the next step would be the sales process. The sales process actually starts before you are on the call. Like I said, like I keep going over, can't stress it enough, previous results, giving away value, testimonials. When they book a call, stay in touch with the prospect, send them over more results and testimonials, reminder emails to remind them when the call is, um, videos that talk about your journey to build trust with them so they get to know you and sell them on your service before the call. Then for your sales call, sales is all about knowing the prospect's deep desires, what they struggle with, and seeing if you can genuinely help them. Use a sales framework to stay on track while still being able to listen to the prospect. You can find plenty of these online, and I'm going to create a whole separate video going in detail on sales and the pre-sales call. Now you know how that whole system works. You know how to funnel viewers, you know how to build trust with them and nurture them, funnel them down to booking calls and selling them. What are your next steps? The first thing you can do after seeing this training is you can take everything I said in this video and try implement it into your own business. Now, I do wanna let you know that this video was a broad overview of what to do. There are some things that may need to be shifted around for you and your business specifically to make it work super efficiently. The second thing you can do is you can do nothing with this newfound knowledge and stay stuck within your business, waiting for an opportunity to come to you instead of going out and taking action. Or third, if you are genuinely serious about taking your business to the next level, there is a booking button down below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. We can take a deep dive into your business and see if we are a good fit to work together. There are the three options you can take after seeing this video. If you did get some value from this video, number one, shoot me a follow on Insta where I'm gonna be dropping all the sauce and all the value. As I said, I don't hold anything back. And number two, schedule in a call with the link down below, answer the booking questions and we can see if we are a good fit to work together. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.